big worries for Tunubu as U.S. ministers decide what should happen to the certificate of return issued to him by the INEC drags him to court. All right, um, my people, we greet you all this very morning. This is the Lord TV. Uh, we are here once again to give it to you as already um, decided and concluded. Yes, that is what we are going to call it. Um, everybody, everybody is now speaking after a careful uh, observation and uh, a proper look into Tinubu's victory. You know, after the declaration, it, it was like, it was like, okay, it's like Tinubu really won the election on a clear ground. But as time goes on, people started giving it a very good look, you know. They started looking at it as an outcome, this, that, you know, considering the Beavers machine and all of those things that was witnessed. So they felt that this thing cannot be true. So from the facts that they gathered, you know, they have to like, it can be possible. You understand? It can be possible. So that was why they have to what, come out in mass and start to speak with immediate effects. <laughs> Tudubu is in a very big trouble. All right. Uh, let's quickly uh, check the content and what is really happening out there. R.B.A. Zekwisili, a former minister of education, shared a mysterious message about the result of the presidential election that took place last Saturday. In conjunction to that, U.S. ministers, U.K. ministers, and international bodies have also shared their opinion. As reported by the celeb writer, on Wednesday, Tinubu was given his certificate of return by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, as the newly elected president of Nigeria. After being contested by 18 political parties, the former governor of Lagos State was announced as the winner of the election on Wednesday morning. Atiku Abubaka of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Peter Obi of the Labour Party, were in second and third place respectively. According to the chief returning officer and chairman of INEC, Mahmoud Yakubu Tudubu received 8,794,726 votes out of the 24,024 and 9,40 valid votes cast. But on Thursday morning, Obi Ezequisili tweeted, encouraging Nigerians to remain calm as the data would reveal the outcome of the election and that the earlier issued certificate will be returned. In a tweet, she stated the certificate will be returned. So please remain calm. Let the data speak for itself. Meanwhile, in another development, Dele Mamodo, a leader, in the People's Democratic Party, PDP has accused the All Progressive Congress APC of transforming Nigeria into a one party state. He also said the recently concluded presidential election was a waste of taxpayers' money. Mamodu, who advocated for the PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar, stated that President Muhammad Buhari APC administration should have informed Nigerians that they were not prepared to leave power rather than bothering to hold an election. Last Saturday was another sorrowful day for our nation. Mamadou Wu serves as Director of Strategic Communication for the PDP Presidential Campaign Council, said on Thursday a Sunrise Daily Breakfast show on Channel's television. According to him, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, did not fulfill its commitment, particularly regarding the B-Model Voters Registration System, BIVAS, and timely transmission of results through the Result Viewing Portal, portal IREV. On a day that was expected to be Nigerian's turning point, he said there was an abundance of drama and promises with BIVAS touted as a game-changer 
However, what we witnessed was nothing but a farce. The presidential election on February 25th, 2023 was described as one of the worst in Nigeria since the First Republic by the PDP leader. In 1983, we had one of our worst elections. Our best election was in 1993, but it was invalidated in 2023. We fared worse than in 1983, which was an analog era, Momodo said. The young man is right. This election turned out to be the worst ever conducted in Nigeria. The first was in 1983. And that was uh, when Buhari came in. Eh? Now is the second. And um, one other point that he made when he said that uh, the, the Buhari's administration would have told us that they are not ready to leave office. It is still true. It is still true. Because they have seen it that if they make use of that very technology called beavers, definitely their secret will leak and power will leave APC. You know, Nigerian, I don't know. Nothing is done well in Nigeria. Everything are just jaga jaga according to uh, Idris Abdul Kirim. You know, you know, when you tell the truth, people see you to be a mad person. But whereas what you are saying is the truth. You understand? And that's just it. So, my people, let's quickly hear you and let's know what your take on this, baby. Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to see more updates. Thank you.